Afternoon, <clears throat> welcome to the Mark Cooper Challenge here on Nap Habit. Maritimo sitting in eighth place in the Portuguese league. Um, yeah, it's not going particularly well. Five wins, five defeats, four draws. Can't settle on a formation. Uh, but we're in cup action today. Uh, we face the mighty Porto at home in Funchal. So let's oh no we need to just have a little update don't we with the um games we've been playing since uh finland beating england in their own backyard um we got a nil nil draw in ireland very exciting uh then back with maritimo a two nil defeat at home to Bur Vista, a one nil win away at pacos fiera a one all draw with rio ave one all draw with Guimarães, and then I simmed the uh, one all draw uh, at home at Scotland in the Finland camp. Uh, we then took a thumping away at Benfica, 3 1. Uh, one all draw with Aves, and then we ha having to get things back on track away at Portimao, a scrappy 1 0 win away at Portimao. So yeah, we've got uh, Porto up next in the round of 16. Tassa de Portugal, remember, um, our only silverware, this club's only silverware in their history. So uh, we're going to put Porto in their home kit. That should be fine. Yep. And I'm going to try the 4-3-3 that we just took, uh, took away to, um, was it Portimao? Let's see how we get on with this. 4-3-3 three, three attack. Uh, Valente is not happy. We'll bring... Uh, what's his face in? Tigaduni tired as well. Hmm. Yeah, a bit tired after the mid after the weekend, aren't we? Let's see. Maybe this isn't going to work. Hmm. Quite a few tired legs out there. Let's see, uh, Correa in there, Mark Cooper, Mark Cooper, Charlie Cooper, Carrasco can play out there, we'll start with Valente on the left, we'll change things around a little bit later on, and we'll put our, oh, where is he, oh, he's knackered as well, oh dear. We'll stick with Rain Yao up front then. Uh, anyone in the bench area? You're going to need to come on at some point, aren't you, mate? As are you, probably. Silver's going to have to be rested, I think. <sighs> Alright, we'll put the youngster in. Yigit. But yeah, we are a little bit underpowered today. Not ideal. I think it's the first time I played Porto. Yes, it is. So, on with some Maritimo facts for you. Uh, ex Madeiran Governor Alberto Jao Jardim supports Maritimo. Now, Wikipedia describes him as a confrontational, explosive, and sometimes impolite individual. And uh, Wikipedia describes how he supports the cause of FLAMA, Flamer, a far right paramilitary group who undertook. 70 bombings in Madeira in the 70s. Uh, Flamer wanted Madeira's independence from the mainland. And uh, Alberto Jao Jardim used our club as a political vehicle and symbol of Madeiran pride. Well, we are uh, autonomous now, but it's part of Portugal. And uh, we're going to hope to send a big message out by beating the favourites here today. There they are. The famous blue and white stripes. What we've got here, Alan, is a side that don't concede many goals and perhaps they don't score enough. That's oh, down to the, on the bench. philosophy of the coach. What a mess. Yeah, they don't uh, commit too many men forward. Um, incredibly hard, I know. Fairly the big club, Maritimo. 42 seasons in Primera Liga. Twice runners-up in both the Portuguese Cup and the Portuguese League Cup. Uh, I, think, I think I said before, just always finishing... Well, fifth is our best ever. So that's what we've got to try and beat that this year. The that's the target. Right, anyone here? Willy Bolly, 
Dalot, Saar, of course, in the Premier League these days, I think. That's who I'm thinking of. Hmm, Tixera, recognise that name as well. Oh, Vincent Abubakar. Had him at, uh, was it Newcastle in, in Football Manager 2017? I think it was Newcastle. Absolutely tore it up. Okay, so there's a lot to fear here today. We just need to make a good account of ourselves and don't concede early. That's where we've been going wrong. Play on from the back foot. Mm. And the referee blows his whistle. Valente is a good player. This game in the last 16 of the Tassa Portuguesa, the Portuguese domestic cup competition. A uh, good chance for Mark good Cooper to win some silverware. To a quite a dangerous position now. Here, if we can get past Porto. High cross, good block. Played away, well away from goal. And well, that's good. The shot's up. Free kick given by the referee. Correa using his long shot ability there. But I don't know who was fouled. Obviously I can't shoot from these. It's beyond my ability. Ah, oh, screw it, I'll have a go. Ah, oh, it's never going anywhere near the goal, I don't think, but... Now we just need to back off them a bit, I think. Try and shut down those passing lanes like that. Ah. Oh, they hoof it up into the air. You have to say, Maritimo have been the better team in the opening stages of the game. Here's Carrasco. E nothing going in there, but... Oh, uh, uncertain from the keeper but it has set up a bit of a counter attack for the lads from the capital Porto pushing on here getting men forward oh here they are oh to the game that would have been for them the first goal coming so early but not quite but he's kicking himself he can't believe he's missed so close in two. Okay, chance at each end. And Cooper. Here's a chance to attack. Promising oh, nothing from Reno. Challenge. Need to get Abu Bakr. Oh. Correa on the ball, I reckon. The opposition, using the wider areas here. Oh, Babetto, you can't get that. Cross. Out. There he goes, Correa. He's got the technique to deal with the press. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Oh. That wasn't Oliver really Torres. good enough. But we're in the game so far. Oh, lovely from Cooper. Oh, but he's not got it. Zidane is off the mark. Off the mark. Stop from Charles. Mm. Okay. goes the corner oh it's a clearance off the line man on the post thank goodness space to cross the ball now look very good indeed oh the Cooper he's just broken down he's a turn in a quite a powerful midfielder he has my boy but he's giving it away oh a boober car <laughs> so, uh, in our uh, second division, Portuguese second division, uh, we've actually won the league twice down there. Various stages. Right, keep it. This is another thing Jimmy was saying to me just the other day we were playing. And uh, he was saying, I'm just 
can't keep the ball from those goal kicks for whatever reason. Ah, oh, I can't. So simple. Come on, Charlie. Oh, that's not it's Gamboa, sorry. Oh, Gamboa. Looking for teammates in the middle. So the feet, lovely out. Wow, Charles is down for that, right? Out, out, out. Oh, that's not good enough. That's terrible. There's Gamboa. Here's Karaya. Carrasco. Is he offside? Correa. I think he might be. No, he's not. He's on. This is a good opportunity to put the ball into oh, the penalty area now. Oh. They've lost the ball and the camp. Good vision. In on the goalkeeper. It's again lovely. Oh, he's played it by Correa. To keep the ball a bit more patient there. They're coming on to us again. Charles comes out for the punch. Oh, and he's down. He's having to do a bit more work now. The Madeiran goalie. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today. Now that this rain is coming down, might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the good enough. blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more, and uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. We haven't had a chance in a long time. But that's lovely from the left back for the error. Oh, and that's terrible. Just can't keep the errors out of my game at the moment. Valente. He's in. No, he's offside. Yeah, Valente is a marvellous player, but he's not been able to get in to it yet. Volley with the free kick. It's short. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. There's Valente. Correa. That's good movement forward here. Oh, come on. Stop giving it back to them. In. Oliver Torres. The fourth official has indicated the opposition that we're going for two minutes of any time. Oh, and that was a they it's they not an early goal. It's a flag. Thank goodness for that. I would have taken nil-nil at half time. Tight indeed, but we get the advantage of another look that the officials, of course, don't. No, and. Uh, it was such a close call, but the defence had squeezed and caught the lad offside, although he took it right. away well. And there is the half I think time we're, <laughs> we're hanging on. I don't know if there's a replay involved at this stage of the Tassa de Portugal. Didn't bother to check. Uh, this club, Maritimo, we've appeared in nine UEFA Cups slash Europa Leagues. Best performance was in 2012-13. We finished third in our group behind Bordeaux and Newcastle United. Right, more on that in a second. I think we had one shot, didn't we? Oh, two. One on target, but only two on target for Porto and only one, only 51% possession. Yes, that pass accuracy for us is down, isn't it? 81%. We need to be a bit more patient. And yeah, Valente is going to have to come off um, soon, sooner rather than later. He hasn't really done anything much, has he? Well, it's been a very good first half in this round of 16 tie. 45 minutes still to go. Yeah, he might need to go 4 1 4 1. The Portuguese Domestic Cup, this for a place in the quarterfinals. Correa. Cooper. Oh, Ruben. That's off, mate. Off, 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 off. Flag. Rhino. No. Okay. Oh, we've set him up. Charles Abubaker. It's 1 0. 
<sighs> is it time for Yigit? I mean, I don't really know anything about him. I know he's not very good. Is he going to be better than a half knackered Valente? Could have sworn we played him off in the build up there. Let's have a look, just check that one. There. Okay, no, he's on, isn't he? Just. Right. So the first goal, it's 1 0. Goal for the visitors. Number nine, Vincent Abirika. Correa. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Cooper's shot is deflected. And that's deflected behind. It will be a corner. The shot's off. Fiera, the left back with a shot. It's, it's cleared. Abubakar keeps it in. Will to hold off the opposition. Abubakar. The confidence that this guy is showing in possession of the ball today. He's showing his class. He, he's a top class competitor and uh, it's coming to the fore out there. And Cooper could be dangerous. Correa. Oh, Correa, come on, man. The best player here. Oliver Torres. Abu Bakr. of interplay between the two now can he take them off he's had a go here stopped emphatically and just as well the approach play looked very encouraging that's not the ball I was looking for I wanted to play it to the left back there I pressed it wrong really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now lovely work from the DMF here's Valente with He's running out of his <laughs> energy and he's not getting a very thoughtful one. anything here. Oliver Torres. Abu Bakr. Gambara again. He's a good player, isn't he? Here's Cooper. Attacking well here. Needs to stay cool now. Bolly cleared it. Right, we're going to try Yigit out then. Ah, oh, but then the formation needs changing anyway. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's go attacking. Bring Yigit on. Give him a chance. Fresh legs up front with Pino. And we'll get uh, Nanu. Again, not somebody I've seen play uh, at all, really. But he's going to hopefully give us a bit of extra energy That's down that right-hand side. Okay, go attacking. You get his uh, muscles straight off. Come on, you get. He's come from our Turkish youth scouting uh, network. Quite a few young Turks in the squad at the moment. Come on, lads. All we need is one. Oh, Charles, off the line. What a save. I know you're dying to know about that UEFA Cup uh, campaign, aren't you? Uh, as well as some Madeira and Community Forum updates coming up at the full-time whistle. So stay tuned. Porto pushing to extend their lead. Delivery to the far post. Charles. Oh, Good. Across to the keeper. You get. It. 
you get with the dummy run onto the offside position. Here's Nano. Looking good this move. Ah, oh, well, that might have fallen to Reino, but it didn't. No threat in that box area. And Cooper. Coming on strong, looking to play their way through now. And shoots! Come on, lads, ten minutes left. Not so much an interception as a poor pass. Oh man! Right from the beginning, we've never known which way this game is going to go, and it, it's kept its drama right to the last. Here's Nano. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down the pitch believe as well? Correa. Oh, Yigit's cross is cleared for a throw in. Nanu keeps it in. Possibly the wrong choice there. Oh, man. Correa, I think. Oh, maybe he should have had a shot back then, but. but it is Nanu. Pereira. Trying to use the full width of the pitch. Oh, that's shit. Abu Bakr. The verdict on added time is two minutes. We're going to have to go all out attack for the last few moments of the game. He's nutmegged me there. Zenadine. Cooper. Correa. Correa. Oh, we just didn't create enough. So, uh, yeah, the we'll find out about that UEFA Cup campaign another time. Uh, in the Madeira Community Forum, Dover Miles say, Golden Gate Cafe. Called in for an afternoon tea and a scone. Asked waitress if I could have just one scone. It's advertised for two scones in the menu. She told me very abruptly that I could have one scone but would have to pay for two. How lovely. I was by myself but had no intention of paying for something I did not want. Whatever happened to customer service? Won't call again. I hope they're milk curdles, nasty people. Moan over. So, let's just assess the damage here. Yeah, we only managed three shots on target the whole game. Lost that possession battle again in the second half and didn't increase the pass accuracy. Just generally week across the board and we're out of the cup thanks for watching uh like the video comment if you have any advice subscribe to the channel email naphabit at gmail.com we'll see you next time good morning